funny story because basically when I was younger, I first started off figure skating. I always wanted to do individual sports. I, did, I played violin, I did horseback riding, whatever. It was all individual, I had no friends. <laughs> so basically it got to a point where my dad was like, you should probably start making friends and you should join a team sport. <laughs> And he got to a point where he's like, all right, well, I'm just gonna sign you up for a sport. You're gonna play softball. And I was like, no, anything but softball. <laughs> so my dad signed me up for volleyball and my career took off from there and I really focused on volleyball since then. Since then, my dad already started having me train for college. I ended up joining a club team, played club when I was 12 all the way until high school. Basically, because of an injury, I was moved up to varsity. And I was actually an outside hitter I didn't, I didn't set at all until my senior year of high school. Oh, I loved all the girls, they really got me into volleyball. Like there was this one girl my freshman year, Alex Blatt, she was just an incredible captain. She was a setter going to uh, Minnesota and she just always impacted me positively and made me really focus on my college career even more so than I already was. And then I started the recruiting process really young too, my freshman year. My dad did all of the work and I hated it. I hated it so much because he would just nonstop. Oh, you're going to your friend's house? You have to make six college calls. Oh, you're going here? You have to do this research. Oh, it's so much, but I really appreciate him for it. He, he did so much for me and the reason why I'm here is because of him. And uh, Kent State was actually one of the first schools to send me a letter. I walked this campus in summer and I, it was absolutely gorgeous. I loved it. And, um, yeah, I mean, as soon as I was offered, well, obviously I accepted it and then I went on my official visit. I came at the same time as Liz Reichow. It was a blast. I've never had a better experience in my life. That's how I knew that I was supposed to be here. Yeah. Well, one word to sum it all up, we're, we're a family. We're, we're just a family. Like, everyone has a different spectrum of personality and we all, just everyone has a different part and just a different role and we all come together perfectly and I absolutely loved it. Yeah, as of right now, we're just a really strong knit group. I think we're starting to show that on the court now too, and it's just, it's fantastic to finally see it all come together in my fourth year here and like my last year. I hope, I hope that it keeps, we keep on growing as a team because we have so much potential. I absolutely love it, yeah, so. Excited for this year. I've always been, I've always been a daddy's girl ever since I was young, growing up. He always took me on fishing trips and I was always close to him. Through high school, it kind of got distanced because of the recruiting process and I, in the end, he comes to every one of my games that he can. He's always calling me, always texting me, great job, I see the stats, or just how are you doing, like, how are these exams? Last night he texted me during the Bears game, like, oh, these players are just mad. <laughs> There's a touchdown, make sure you watch. <laughs> I don't know, I just, he's done so much for me, and him and my mom, just, just fantastic parents. So, it's, I really have to thank them for everything.